100 Things You Need to Know About Living in a Bus. In 2017, our family decided to give up our tiny, overpriced, 50-square-meter, one-bedroom apartment. We had been living in Vancouver, Canada for four years, one of the most expensive cities on the planet. We were spending $27,000 a year just on rent, a car, fuel, and groceries. We had no savings. Then my partner broke her two front teeth, and the dentist told us it would cost $15,000 to fix them, and that our free Canadian health insurance, the envy of the world, didn't cover it. My partner was born in Poland. She told me that, if we were there, she could get them fixed for 1,200 euros. That's about $1,800 Canadian, if we were in Europe. It was going to cost 88% less if we crossed the ocean. So I did some math. $1,800 for dental work, $3,800 for airfares, $1,000 for shipping, $1,000 for food, and $2,000 for rent for a grand total of $9,600. I figured out that if we left, we would be $5,400 ahead and actually have some savings to do things we really wanted to do. So we packed up our stuff, gave up the apartment, sent some special stuff to Europe, said goodbye to our friends in Canada, then got on a plane and went to Germany to start over. But Daddy, where are we going to live? Well, I had a plan. I had a bus parked in a special secret location, sitting for years waiting for us to return and make use of it. I called her LUL522X Mobile Art Studio. I dusted her off, started her up. Was that? Yeah, huge, and it was huge. Big and huge. She started! Yay! And off we went. We've now been living in the bus for 867 days. It's been 124 weeks of tiny subcompact living, two years, four months, and 17 days inside of a 14 square meter rolling tin can. It's fun, we love it, but sometimes we hate it. One of my favorite features of this bus is that door. This is our story. Follow us here and on Patreon as we navigate a new kind of economy, live small, see new places, and explore sustainable living by questioning every last thing we use. 100 things you need to know about living in a bus. Yeah, uh, this is the control center. So uh, this is my seat. Don't sit in my seat. Are you ready? Yep. Yep. Hey, can I be in the middle? No. But not this time, but we'll talk about it. Rolling. Are you gonna get it this time? What do you reckon? You reckon you're gonna get it this time? You reckon you're gonna get it this time, Dave? This is like your 50th take or something. I know, it's the first one. And you gotta relax. You gotta relax.